The Lumex LF1050 and LF1090 Lift Review. Lumex lifts enable the caregiver to safely move or transfer a resident with confidence. This video will review the LF1050 and LF1090 electric lifts. These are essentially the same, except for the weight limits. Our LF1030 hydraulic lift functions the same way. Hydraulic lifts are primarily used in home care and have Medicare reimbursement. A lift should always be used with two caregivers and only used for transferring a resident from one object to another, such as beds, bathtubs, chairs, or toilets. It should not be used for transporting or moving a resident from one location to another. Your Lumex lift is constructed of heavy gauge steel. Let's review the parts. Base, mast, boom, six point spreader bar, push bar, emergency lowering device, motor actuator, control box, and hand pendant. An optional digital scale is available. The scale is easily attached to Lumax lifts and minimizes resident risk by eliminating an extra transfer to a facility weighing device. Your control box contains two 12-volt batteries and a PC board. There is a reset button on top. When the button is down, the lift will not operate or charge. By turning it clockwise, it will pop up. When the lift is not in use, the button should be pushed down. Otherwise, the battery will slowly drain. There are five openings on your battery pack. The actuator motor plugs in the third opening. The hand pendant plugs into the second opening. The charger plugs in the top opening. The lower two openings are not used. Your new lift should be initially charged for 10 to 12 hours. The lift is controlled with a hand pendant, which hooks onto the push bar for easy access. When you hit the up or down arrow on the hand pendant, the remaining charge will be reflected by the three charge indicator lights. Three green lights indicate a full charge. You can also touch battery testing button on the control box and the remaining charge will be shown. When the red light glows, you must recharge the battery. You will also get an audible low voltage warning beep for low battery charge. Recharging takes three to four hours from one green light. It will take approximately seven to nine hours to fully charge from the red light. Allowing the battery to run down to less than one green light can shorten the life of the battery or damage the battery. Remember that your red reset button must be in the up position for charging. Insert charging plug into charging port on the control box. All lights on the battery indicator should be on while charging. The red charge light will go out when the battery is fully charged. Do not charge the battery for more than 12 hours. This may shorten the life of the battery. Batteries generally need to be replaced every 12 to 18 months on average. Unplug the charger before operating the lift. The LF1050 lift will not operate while charging. The weight capacity of the LF1050 lift is 400 pounds. The weight capacity of the LF1090 is 600 pounds. This is clearly marked on the boom. Never exceed this weight capacity for your safety and for that of your resident. The lift is equipped with a safety chip that will sound if you try to lift too much weight for the motor. The lift will emit four quick beeps and then stop if you try to exceed the weight limit. You will notice that the base legs are very low to the ground. They are only four and one half inches above the finished floor for the LF1050 and five and three quarter inches for the LF1090. The LF1090 is also available at four and one half inches. This allows the lift to accommodate low beds. There is a very simple device for spreading the legs. Simply press one lever to open and the other lever to close. The device is ergonomic and intuitive to use. The device to spread the legs on the LF1030 base is somewhat different and utilizes a simple hand lever. The casters on the rear are locking casters. During a lift, you should unlock the casters and spread the lift legs. This allows the lift to self-adjust as the resident centers over the lift and provides greater stability. 
The legs of the LF-1050 and LF-1090 can be in the open or closed position during transport. Never pull or push the boom. Positioning should be done with the push bar and grab handles. The spreader bar has six points or hooks. The spreader will turn and tilt to ease attaching a sling to the lift for resident positioning. You can use two, four, or six point slings with this lift. A two point sling is used in conjunction with chains. Your lift is equipped with an easy access emergency stop button. Depressing this button will immediately stop power to the lift. Twisting the auto stop button will resume the power. Your lift has an emergency lowering device to use to lower a resident during a power failure. Sling Selection When choosing the proper sling, consider the type of transfer, resident weight and abilities, height, and the most comfortable sling for the individual. There are full body slings, universal slings, divided leg slings, and toileting slings. Slings are available in solid fabric or mesh for quick drying. Mesh slings are generally used for bathing. There are also padded and non-padded varieties, those with headrests and those without headrests. If a resident will be in a sling for a period of time or if they have skin conditions, the use of padded slings is recommended. Gram Fill Lumax lifts are designed for convenience and safety in resident transfers and to protect the caregiver from injury. They are also very easy to maneuver. As with any new piece of equipment, always practice using the lift before using it with residents. Practice transfers from bed to chair, chair to bed. Familiarize yourself with the product features. This is key to smooth operation. Bend your knees, use your leg muscles, and align your body with feet apart so that your center of gravity is stabilized. Do not twist your spine. Know your resident's ability. This video should be used as a guide only. A manual was provided with your lift. This is also available online at www.gramfield.com. If you have any questions, please call Tech Support. 800-347-5678, extension 3454, or 800-235-4661, extension 3454. Collectively, your call or inquiry will be supported by over 50 years of medical industry experience, or email Gramfield Support at tech at gramfield.com.